Platinum is a precious metal. Most people would probably think of it in terms of jewelry, but actually the biggest use for platinum worldwide is in the auto industry, in catalytic converters, devices on cars that clean the emissions. Palladium is also a precious metal. The majority of vehicles in the world are powered by gasoline engines. Palladium is used in the catalytic converters really for gasoline, whereas platinum is more found in catalytic converters for diesel-powered engines. The future for platinum palladium will largely depend on the key drivers of demand going forward. We see increasing investment demand for both platinum and palladium as investors look for more hard asset investments that are less correlated to stocks and bonds. Historically, one of the reasons platinum and palladium have been used as metals in catalytic converters is that the price for those metals has been lower than gold and therefore it's more efficient for a car company or any consumer and there's a price differential between the two metals. If palladium gets to be too expensive versus platinum, car manufacturers can substitute the more expensive metal for the lower cost metal. The price of platinum has fallen over the last couple of years and investors have worried about the declining market share from diesel. What investors have been focused on is what replaces that or what new sources of demand for platinum are going to come in the next 10 years. As the automotive industry develops, you're going to have two new technologies competing with the space, battery power and also hydrogen fuel cell power. And they are taking market share away from traditional gasoline powered engines. The battery powered vehicle doesn't require a catalytic converter because there is by definition no emissions. So therefore there's no platinum or palladium in the battery powered vehicle. With a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, you require platinum for the chemical reaction to allow a more efficient powertrain. And those technologies, those market shares will grow, albeit at a different pace. It's not a zero sum game. The fallout from the Volkswagen emission scandal has really resulted in manufacturers stepping up their game to improve emission standards for diesel technology. I think what that means is that diesel does have a future, but there'll be better technology. Gasoline will continue better technology. But these technologies, fuel cells and batteries, will be an important part of the global automotive mix going forward. Mm -hmm.